Al joins us now with Tractor Tales. What have we got this week, Al? John, we're going to meet a serious mowing collector. This tractor's been in the family for more than 30 years, but it doesn't see much work these days. The owner says they just like to show it off. Come on, honey. Oh, we've got a series of Minneapolis Moline tractors. The one behind me is a 1952 BF, Moline BF. Uh, we were originally made by the Avery Company, and Moline bought them out in 1952. And uh, shortly after that, they changed the uh, names on them. They went to BGs and, and other designations. It's a rare find, but my dad was a Moline dealer here in town. And so we've always farmed with Molines all of our lives. And uh, we just decided to uh, start collecting some since dad was the one that started it all. Each dealer had to take one because they were trying to disperse them out as a new model they had just purchased from Avery. Okay. And so they're, they're, not, uh, they're not readily findable. You see some V's, and those are uh, red ones made by Avery. But Moline changed theirs to the prairie gold color. But this is a tractor we've had for 20 some years and it was a total wreck and we got it all running again. Actually, my brother bought it probably about 30 years ago with two other tractors up north here from Atkinson. And it's just been sitting on the farm and we decided it's time to do something with it. It took all new tires and rims and everything because it was in bad shape and that's the most expense we have in it. But uh, new radiator and a lot of different parts. But it's, it's a unique little tractor. We were lucky enough the engine wasn't frozen or anything, but we did a little extensive body work. Uh, a lot of bearings were frozen, a lot of seals, wheel seals and things had to be changed. Um, brakes had to be com completely redone. There was a lot of hours in it, but not the hardest stuff we have, would have to do normally. None of these would be sold. They'll probably be passed down to the next generation. 